Watching at 11, I'm Ben Hoover. Tonight, we remember the life of James Robert Radio Kennedy. Radio passed away after midnight at the age of 73. He was the inspiration for the movie Radio and an icon for the TL Hanna football team. Our 7 News reporter Stephanie Borman joins me live in the studio tonight with a look at his legacy. Stephanie. Ben Radio, as he was nicknamed by the coaches, is described as the heart and soul of TL Hanna High School. For more than 50 years, he graced the football field, impacting the lives of every student, teacher, and fan of the Yellow Jackets. While he will be undoubtedly missed, his legacy lives on. Okay. In 1960, James Robert Kennedy, a teenager at the time, showed up on the football field at TL Hanna High School. Standing on the sidelines of every practice and football game would become his life's legacy. Go Jackets! He was really like the whole, like heart and soul of the school. I like had all the school spirit and everything. It's like basically what Teal Hand is all about. A former principal calls it destiny because radio would inspire more than a Hollywood movie. His compassion and love would change the lives of every student and teacher of Teal Hanna for more than 50 years. He, um, you know, loved life. He loved, uh, the students at T.L. Hanna loved T.L. Hanna. He was always just a really nice presence and everybody loved him. Radio was mentally challenged and couldn't read or write. He took classes at the high school. He also had a transistor radio attached to his ear, earning him the nickname radio on the football field. On Sunday, former principal Sheila Hilton wrote that one day radio started to mimic the coaches. And rather than turning him away or calling him a distraction, the school embraced him. Radio instantly became a fixture of the Yellow Jackets, both on and off the field. You go to the football games, you're looking forward to see radio on the sidelines cheering and stuff. Radio would um, oftentimes uh, spend time in the afternoon in our hall, on the 300 hall, and um, he was just a, a happy guy. Over the years, different coaches came and went, but all of them made sure to take care of radio. Former football coach Harold Jones took radio under his wing. Their relationship inspired the movie Radio in 2003, starring Cuba Gooding Jr. as radio. On Sunday, surrounded by family, radio passed away at the age of 73. Not only the football players, but the coaches and the community, yeah, we're sure going to miss them. I'm going to miss them a lot. Ben, life really comes full circle. I remember watching that movie oh, so many yeah. years ago and then now being in this moment. And it's so incredible because his story has touched so many people yeah. just around the world. Today, actually on Twitter, RIP Radio is trending. Yes, Hollywood stars were, were tweeting about it as well, remembering radio, but of course he belongs right here in the upstate. Uh, do we know any details about funeral arrangements? So the service is going to be next Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Anderson Civic Center. Okay, yes. more details to come out on that as well. Stephanie, yes. thanks so much. Thank Excellent you. job on the story.